so it's your girl April and I know I look a little bit crazy today but this is not a makeup tutorial I was asked recently or more than recently to do an updated version of how I do my individual lashes as you guys know as you can see I have no lashes on I have been wearing individuals for probably about 10 years now or probably not maybe about eight or seven and over the years they have destroyed my own natural lashes so I do need to wear lashes but when I put them on they do last me for about two to three weeks depending on how well I take care of them so I do have a video on my channel already which is about three years old of how I did my individuals and the method is still the same I just have enhanced it a little bit and added to it I did that video like years ago before I moved to Arizona and also the comments are disabled only because of just mean comments that were left about how I do my lashes to each his own everybody has their own method of doing things um, and that's fine but for me I do like to do my individuals underneath my lids um, just like right here on my lash line so that way they last longer um, I've been doing this for a while so I'm not saying that you're gonna learn this overnight you're definitely gonna not learn it overnight it's a really difficult technique and it does take some practice but you really don't want to burn your lids so there are some things that you do need to do to keep the steps really really safe as possible but now what I do is I still do those the same exact way and the lashes that I use I do get them from IK House. I only use the long length um, and um, I like to get them from IK House because they are like $1.29 per tray. They have all sizes, they have all shapes, they have all lengths, they have all different brands. And but these are the ones with the knots in them. I really don't like the ones that are not free because they, they don't fluff up as well. I've been wearing strips on top of my individuals so um, I do prefer strips as well and these are from Shop Miss A. These are 100% natural human hair and they are a dollar. The one thing that's really important about the strip lashes, I like the ones that where the bands are not thick. So the bands on these are actually really thin and the thinner the band is the better they lie or they lay on your lash line and they don't weigh your lids down also you do need a really good pair of tweezers by all means nothing from the dollar store because I don't find those tweezers to be so well and some really good lash glue now I prefer the Ardell brand this is the lash tight and you can get this from Amazon I actually bought three bottles of these for 11 bucks if you go to Sally's you're getting one bottle for five dollars and that one bottle is probably like one quarter of the size of this so I definitely get them from um, Amazon and they last me for a long time my lashes can stay on up to two to three weeks depending on how I take care of them I did take and pour some of the glue onto this little tray which is top of the lashes and I've removed some of the lashes okay the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your glue hits the air you don't want to pour the glue out and then start putting them on you want to place the glue out for at least three minutes so that way it'll get a little bit thicker so when you're applying them the glue does not drip into your lashes so I'm gonna go from looking like this to to this all right guys so here we go I'm gonna just take my tweezers and I'm going to apply each individual cluster underneath my lash line or right on my lash line and you want to take your time like I stated you do want to make sure that your glue has sat out in the air for about three minutes so that way it thickens it's not runny now the black glue by Ardell is thicker it does last longer than the clear there was a time when I was using the clear and it seemed to last a lot longer than the black but I've noticed the consistency has changed so I did go back to the black the black that does give you a more gooey effect and like I said it does last a lot longer than the clear so if you're looking for something with a longevity then definitely check out the lash type by Ardell in black you want to take your time with this but make sure that you definitely leave the glue out in the air for about two minutes so that way it can cure and just take your time so now you guys can see you can stop there if you want and you don't have to do anything else I used to just leave it like this and I was fine with that and now what I'll do is while that's drying even though it's dry I'm going to move on to the next now eye. you can see I have both eyes done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue I'm going to pour some more on here I have a new strip of glue right here I'm going to take this tool this is actually an eyeliner um, liquid eyeliner but the applicator is like a sponge so I only use this for the glue now I want to take one of my lashes now remember I did say that 
I prefer the bands to be really thin. And these are the Alexis ones from um, Shop Miss A. And I'll put a link below for their lashes and their direct sight. So now I'm going to take the um, eyeliner brush thing. And I'm just going to dab it into the glue. I'm going to get some of the glue on it. I'm going to put it on the band. Sorry, I'm out of focus, guys. And this is not strip eyelash glue. This is individual lash glue. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the strip lashes. These are the Alexis ones from Shop Miss A. I went ahead and put the glue on the band that is the individual glue. And you're just going to apply it just like you do regular strips. I will use the tweezer to guide me, and that's about it. All right, you guys, so this is the finished eyelash look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You really don't need to do much. Um, sometimes I go dramatic, sometimes I don't. But this will last me for like about two weeks, depending on if I put mascara on it. But you really don't because the lashes are really full. So I would highly suggest not coating it with our um, mascara because it will make them kind of stiff and crunchy and they won't last as long. So just keep that in mind and try to make sure that you use a small band eyelash. Definitely check out Shop Miss A for some really great lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You don't have to do this. This is what I like to do. Each person has their own preference and opinion. And I really like to wear my lashes like this because they last forever. So I really prefer individuals. You know, if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave your comments below. And I'll see you on a soon-to-come video.